Half a mile from the county fair And the rain came pouring down Me and Billy standing there With a silver half a crown Hands are full of a fishing rod And the tackle on our backs We just stood there getting wet With our backs against the fence It don't rain all day And it stung me to my soul Stung me just like jelly rolls And it stung me And it stung me to my soul Stung me just like going home And it stung The rain lit up and the sun came up and we were getting dry. Almost let a pickup truck nearly pass us by. So he jumped right in in the driver glen and he dropped us up the road. Yeah, we looked at the swim and we jumped right in, not to mention fishing pole. Yeah, that stung me to my soul Stung me just like jelly roll Yeah, that stung me special toasts, um, some moments of, uh, of love and emotion, and um, what better way to kick things off than a, a, a man who is uh, very much in love with his daughter today, and uh, happy to, to uh, lead us and, and kick us off. So if everyone can, uh, can pay attention here, and um, we'll turn it over to uh, Mr. Matt. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you very much. And it is going to be love and affection, but there's going to be a couple jabs, you know, just a couple little, you know, love taps, you might say. Um, my name is Matt Newman. I'm the father of the bride. It, it does sound good to say that, I must say. Jade, um, Jade, pay attention to your dad. Um, I want to thank you for being my daughter and thank you for making me so proud of you. I really appreciate that. And Paul, thank you for 
being the person to whom I'm trusting Jade's happiness. Yes, God bless you both. And thank you for all the wonderful world words um, that Brother John Paul said and everybody else said. It's a wonderful sentiment and I want to echo some of those themes today. I also want to thank all the other people who make this day so special. Um, Dolores and Paul push out. can you please stand? Um, yeah, yeah, totally. I've always believed when two people get married to each other, they also marry the family. Yes! Yeah. 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 Jade is, is in the family. Um, I believe you're marrying into a very loving and a very kind family. Um, you already gave them a round of applause, but how about one more for Dolores and Paul? Okay. I also want to thank the person I love, whose name is Sean. Sean, can you stand up? Um, can you believe that? We made it. Yeah, mostly you, but congratulations. Job well done. This is an interactive uh, presentation. I want to I want to um, say one more thank you. My mother is 88 years old. Uh, she really wanted to come tonight. She loves Jade, but she couldn't make it for health reasons. Um, but I would like to ask everybody in the count of three to shout out, hi, mom. So we're going to do a virtual hello. Ready? One, two, three. Hi, hi mom! Hi. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so I um, just want to give you a few thoughts about today. Um, as I walked Jade down the aisle, I felt a tremendous feeling of hope, a little bit of uncertainty, because today, really, Jade is starting a new life. Jade is my only daughter, and next to Sean, Jade really is the most beautiful, caring, smart, and funny girl I've ever known. Because all of our cats are male. <laughs> what? Jade is marrying Paul. I'm known giving my daughter to a very, very good man. Uh, make no mistake, this is a marriage of two very strong and unique individuals. How do I describe Paul? Handsome, devoted dad, extremely creative, a talented musician, spontaneous, yes, and once in a while, a little late, you know, you know. <laughs> You know, it happens. Except when he's playing the drums, when he's always on time. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. <laughs> All right. And how do I describe Jake? Beautiful, full of em empathy for others, always on time. And one of the world's greatest planners. Yes. We're talking major planner. Spreadsheets, lists, multiple spreadsheets. You got it? <laughs> you got a planning tool, she's almost on it. She's always, always on a plan. I really believe marriage is a partnership. You need to really believe in one another, forgive sometimes, and occasionally admit when you're wrong. Paul, that means you. Remember, happy wife, happy life. I also believe marriage is not possible without a little bit of luck, and sometimes divine intervention. Let me tell you about the magical part of the Jaden Paul story. All right. Jade and Paul met on New Year's Eve. To be brutally honest, meeting your soulmate on New Year's Eve is like trying to win the lottery, right? <laughs> How many times do people go out on New Year's, roll the dice, and come up empty? But somehow these two pulled it off. <laughs> on the night they met, it was cold and wet, a typical winter January night in Chicago. On that night, New Year's Eve, Jade and a girlfriend were going to see some bands that were playing a show in a friend's basement. Jade was the designated driver that night. That was part of the plan. Okay? As I said, Jade is a bit of a planner. The next part of the plan was Jade was going to possibly help set up her girlfriend if the opportunity came along and they saw the right guy. Sure enough, when Jade saw Paul standing in line, for the bathroom at the show, she said to her friend, hey, that guy's cute. Do you want me to fix you up? 
For some reason, the girlfriend did not respond. Thank you, girlfriend. You're welcome. Sometimes, even when plans don't work out, they do work out. Like I said, every marriage needs a little bit of luck. After the show, Paul walked up to Jade and said, if you ever want to go out together for drinks, let me know. As fate would have it, on that night, Paul's phone had died. So he's actually saying, you could call me. And um, it all worked out. But the important thing is, Paul wanted to make the connection. And it wasn't an accident. Paul had actually planned to seek Jade out after the show. In this case, Paul was the planner, not Jade. Truth be told, Paul told me that just before the show that night, he saw Jade for the first time. She was walking in the alley, wearing high heels, slipping a little bit on the ice. And in that moment, there was a magical connection between Jade and Paul. I'm sure Jade wasn't planning to slip, but sometimes, even when you don't plan something, good things happen. Jade, Paul saw Jade and something clicked. So, in conclusion, New Year's Eve, the night when so many people are looking for a new start, when the world itself is setting back the clock to start anew, opened up a whole new life for Jane and Paul. The planner Jade was outdone by the spontaneous Paul. <laughs> and just to wrap up, Jade told me that although she loves to throw things away, on that night she kept a small part of the t-shirt she wore to the show and sewed it to her show blanket. So remember that night. I think that shows that she and Paul both knew they were destined to be together. And so tonight, let's raise a glass. Let's raise a glass to new beginnings and the magic of true love. Congratulations to our new married couple, Jade and Paul Pushouts. Thank you. I'll turn it back to Kevin here. Thank you, Matt. That's fantastic. That was wonderful. Thank you, Matt. That was perfect. Uh, so I've, I've obviously I've known Paul a long, long time. Uh, he and I go way back, and I've shared a lot with him and his family and. Uh, it, it's it, it's happened so often that it, it even happened tonight where um, someone will ask me, uh, and you're a push out? <laughs> no, I'm not. But uh, but if if I were, uh, I would be very very proud to be a to be a push out, and I'm very proud to be included in in the family and everything that they do. Um, so with that being said, I'd like to introduce someone that's um, special to a lot of people in this room, uh, very special to me as well, um, Mr. Paul Pushhouse. figure out between the two of us. And uh, Paul's dad, you figured that out. And my wife, Dolores Joan. Yeah. 
President Joan of Arc, Warrior Saint, Wonder Woman. <laughs> along, uh, welcome you with uh, along with Matt and Sean. Jay Fun Dead, we figured that out. Thank you for being here with us today. And to celebrate our joy yeah, with uh, Paul and Jay. I mean, thank you very much for, for coming and for sharing our joy. I mean, really, this is this is a great, great moment. And some of you have come a long way and made sacrifices to be here. I mean, you've come from California. You've come from New Jersey. You've come from Indiana. You've come from Michigan, Tennessee, Texas, Florida, and all, the, all sorts of other places. Today. Yeah. I, for my part, and for my whole family, uh, we, uh, we uh, welcome Jade into our family. And we all that she is really a part of us. And we're really appreciative of how you have uh, welcomed Paul into your family. That is super. So, um, especially Matt, Sean, and Alex, thank you very much for being so accepting. All right, uh, let's see. I mean, I really wanted to say that it's such a bonus. It's something that people don't talk about. We have been so lucky with the parents of the brides that we've known, and it's just a great bonus to get to know the parents of the bride and how they really have been great. And we've formed friendships, and it's been, it's, it's really great. So, you know, so, you know, because of that, you know, we're even happier. So thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> and Jade, uh, you are a beautiful person, and especially today. And uh, we have found you to be just a super beautiful person. You have a beautiful soul. You are very giving. You've got a great sense of humor. You're always smiling. You're, you're just a wonderful, wonderful, great person. And uh, we're really very happy to have you uh, helping Paul out in his life. And, <laughs> <laughs> and being there, no, really, it's, it's great. So, thank you very much. Yeah, we just, it's great. Finally, um, Dolores and I had a chance to get to Israel, and uh, Dolores was very thinking of the wedding here, and she got a little gift for you from Cana. Uh, you might have heard of the wedding feast of Cana. Jesus' mother noticed they were out of wine, and she told Jesus they don't have any more wine. And you know what Jesus said? He didn't say, I'll make the wine. He said, who cares? I don't care if they don't have any wine. Anyway, Jesus' mother says, hi. Come on. Uh. Hey. All right. Say hi. Jesus' mother tells his attendants, do whatever he tells you. So Jesus, not necessarily to, well, both and, I believe in both and, not either or. Both to make the wedding go great and also to please his mother, change water into wine. That's where we were in Cana. And we got some wine from Cana. And they do say this is part of the water that was changing the wine. No, they don't say that. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to present that to you. And it is significant, you know, that, uh, you know, Jesus is saying, hey, you know, you can't just get by. You can't just get by with water. You have to have some wine, too. Right? A little parting. Okay, so I will stop. Thank you. 
Thanks for listening. Oh, let's hoist the glass. I didn't bring one up. I got a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> for the best couple in the West couple. Oh, the Jerry. Thank you very much.